What's up everybody and welcome back for another streaming tip video. Today we're adding a timer widget to your OBS starting soon screen in less than 5 minutes. Let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head on over to ecard.enter-media.org and here we have some preset ones that have been made already. So just scroll through some of the designs and see what one matches your channel. You can also change the color and time in the actual widget itself. I'm going to show you now in the next step. So there we have one here with a bit of fire animation. I'm going to change the time and the color. I'm going to set my time for around five minutes. Select five. I'm going to change it to green. Just click it here. And dark green. go click apply you can also change the font i'm going to choose this one click apply you can also increase the text size click apply scroll down to the very end and open in a new window Control c to copy and we're going to head on over to obs so once you're in OBS, click on the plus sign, click on browser, type in timer, copy your URL, your width is going to be 90 and 20 by 1080. And you want to click on refresh browser when the scene becomes active. So restart every time you click into the scene, click OK. And there we have it there. Timer, we can resize if you click on Alt, bring down that bounding box, bring it over a bit more. Sorry for the inception, slide it down. And then we can just drag out to our desired size. So you can imagine this being on your start and soon screen. So I'm just going to click on my start and soon. That's going to move the timer up a slight bit. Readjust. There we have it. Well, that's it for this tutorial on setting up your own timer in less than five minutes. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Until then, keep creating and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.